Floyd the son of Leo, hello and welcome to my channel. Could it's showing that there's a man. You could have hair on the lighter end of the spectrum, but it could go either way. Uh, this person is one who wants to serve as a mentor for you. The King of Wands is a very positive card in the tarot. Even when it's not representing an actual person, individual in your life, this signifies that there's people around you or men around you that generally are supportive of you and think very well of you. So you will be feeling ambitious, goal-oriented, and you're going to have the will to get a whole lot of things accomplished of what you have in mind. So it's about thinking positive. So King of Wands is with the Lover's card. Lover's is associated with the astrological sign of Gemini, the twins. It's possible that you'll start to feel really ambivalent about a relationship or a situation in your life. It could be that your heart is telling you one thing and your head is telling you another. The thing to do is within the bounds of your morality is to follow your heart. That's what the Lover's card says. Some people say they're that there are only two modes that any of us operate under at a time and that's either fear or love and when you can choose it's saying it's safe to choose love when you get the lover's card so basically for the present time these two cards paired together king of wands and lovers lovers is powerful you could be falling in love or someone falling in love with you it's a beautiful card in the tarot. And because it's with the King of Wands, which is another great card in the tarot, this person they'll have very, very protective and caring feelings about you. And they'll be willing to work real hard if necessary just to make the relationship work. So this could be you, Leos, or someone coming towards you, or someone that you know. Well, let's take a look at the rest of the reading to get the full picture. So we move on over, and let's take a look at how they see you if you're dealing with someone. They see you as Seven of Wands and Ace of Wands. Now, the Seven of Wands is about finding yourself in any sort of competition that you're going to come out on top and things should be going really well you should be feeling good and your project should be moving right along you could have some regular moments of self-doubt but now would be the time to feel the fear and do it anyway don't hesitate to make where you stand clear to people because you're thinking your thinking is clear and you're likely to help someone out by spelling things out this card it points towards being independent and thinking for yourself so they see you like the seven of wands you want to come out on top you're probably resistant to others object other people objections or other resistant to other others objections when people object you go the other way and you stand on top that's the type of person they see you as they see you wanting to win this competition. You want to be the last man standing or last woman standing. Now, they also see you as the Ace of Wands, which is about new beginnings, very positive ones. It could be related to work, career, uh, family, romance. And if you're having a difficult time, sorry about that loud car. Um, it's throwing me off, so. Just give me a minute. Okay, with the Ace of Wands, if you're having a difficult time, just know that things are likely to get better very soon. This this Ace of Wands is about being upbeat, optimistic, and hopeful about the future with a really good cause. 
So you'll be feeling energetic and positive, or you, you'll be feeling that way soon. If not now, you'll be feeling that way soon. So now is a good time to start something new when you get the Ace of Wands also. And this Ace of Wands is how your person is seeing you also. Seven of Wands, Ace of Wands. They see you as very passionate. Wanting a new beginning or wanting wanting to make it feel like a new beginning because this Ace of Wands when it comes to love questions it indicates the beginning of a new love and if you're already committed it tells you that the relationship is about to undergo a new beginning so this is how they see you you could be you could be hoping for a new beginning or undergoing or wanting to undergo a new beginning with your person and uh, they see you as w wanting to take this to the next level with the Ace of Wands. Marriage, commitment, living together. So they know that you want, they know that you, you're passionate about them and this connection and you want to be the last man standing. You want to come out on top with the Seven of Wands. So let's move on over and let's take a look at how you see them. Now you see them as the Empress and the Ten of Swords. Now the Empress is a, is a beautiful green lady up there. I hope you can see her face. She's really pretty but you can't tell. They've got all this green on her face. Why they painted her green I don't know. But she's the type that doesn't play by the rules. She has her own way of doing things and her own idea of what is right and what is wrong in any and all endeavors. Keep in mind, this does not mean that she'll always get her way, but she's a reminder not to ignore your creative and intuitive side. It's about coming abundance. But don't make the mistake of thinking that that's always financially. Because there's many types of wealth and riches in life and money is only one of them. As the Empress... You can encompass any and all of them. So you see them as having a, a deep love for you with this Empress here. You see them as being very attracted to you and because it's with the ten of swords ten of swords is showing that it's a sign that you have to be careful where you put your trust because if you can see this man he's in the snow he's he's out on the ground he's out on the cold snow his face is down and he's got these swords stabbed in his back and these two dogs can't figure out what to do yeah, so trust is crucial. If you're asking a question as to whether you can believe what a person is telling you or trust that a situation is stable, with this card showing up, it's a pretty clear answer, no. You cannot trust the situation or trust what a person is telling you. So keep in mind, when one door closes, it has to do that so that another one can open. You're being guided to a situation that's better for you. So trust yourself and trust the universe. So you see them as, like I said, with the Empress having a deep love. And that they're very attracted to you. But they feel mm, defeated. They feel like there's probably some trust issues and... Uh, they feel like there's ruin in this connection. Or there's some type of failure. So, let's move on over. We'll clarify these two cards more when we finish the reading. Because that's kind of big, right? 
So let's move on over and let's take a look at why it's happening. Now it's happening because of the Hermit, which is an exper which can be a spiritual card. It could have something to do with institutions, large organizations, everything from a bank to an entire Christian church. With this uh, Hermit card, you could be in the frame of mind that you want time alone or you need time alone. Don't hesitate to take it, even if it's just a five minute walk around the house, just to clear your head. This is also a card about trying really hard to do the right thing, but just make sure doing the right thing includes doing what's right for you personally and not just worrying about the wants and needs of others. So someone needs to clear their mind, get rid of some baggage, that's what it looks like. Someone could be wanting some time alone. And it's also happening because of the Eight of Pentacles, which is a term for the better particularly when it comes to money because when you hear the word pinnacles in the tarot that's money cash coins so it speaks of fairness equality and the nature of life um, you're likely to be heading in a positive cycle not just a positive day or a positive time but a whole positive cycle so yeah this six of pinnacles it's a card about generosity meaning that Either you are about to be the beneficiary or the giver of something of value. Yeah, so share what you have because there's always someone who needs it. Now, why it's happening, the Hermit card, someone needs some time alone just to pull themselves together and... Uh, someone uh, probably wants someone wants they feel like they need to be to themselves so that uh, this relationship or connection can turn for the better because if we recap this whole reading we see that there's the king of wands for the present time and the lovers card so there's a lot of love in this uh, reading a lot of deep attraction here because, like I said, the King of Wands is someone who, who has very caring and protective feelings about you. And they're very, they want to support you, be very supportive of, of you, and they think well of you. And then the Lover's card, that's deep. Somebody's falling in love here. There's a coming together, maybe a union. Yeah, the Lover's card... It's a deep love. It's a partnership. It's a strength of two. Wow, these two cards are very beautiful. Now, like I said, somebody's falling here. And um, the King of Wands, very caring and protective feelings. Now, your person, Leo, they see you as wanting to win this connection. You want to be the last one standing. You want to come out on top. And they, they know that you want a new beginning or undergo a new beginning in this connection with them. And you see them as being very attracted to you. And they have a deep love for you. But the Ten of Swords is saying that there's something that happened that caused them to feel defeated or ruined or there could be some trust issues and because it's with this empress here it could be that it's connected with the empress because the empress is the card it's clarified with now this Empress, like I said, a lot of people are attracted to the Empress. Okay? Uh, a lot of people want 
this empress, empress attention. They want her friendship. They want uh, the empress for love and romance. So a lot of people are drawn to the empress. And I'm picking up that your person, since you see them as defeated, they might be a little bit intimidated by your beauty <laughs> or by all the attention that you get because that's what this card is paired with the Empress so yeah they might be a little bit intimidated by all the attention that you get because like I said with the Empress coming up here it's a potent time for love and men and women alike they're suddenly finding you far more attractive in terms of friendship and romance so if it's not that they could feel like they're just not trusting the situation because maybe they think you're maybe they're intimidated by you there's something about this empress that they're intimidated by and they they want to clear their head, their head and get rid of some baggage here. So they may walk away for a little while. But it, it's a turn for the better. Because it looks like this whole reading is beautiful except for your person is, looks like he's got some, they've got some anxiety, him or her. And it's all about this empress. And the Empress, like I said, is, is beautiful. Maybe they're, they're not trusting that this connection is, is going to work because it's, so far it's perfect. You got the Ace of Wands, you got Coming Out on Top, you got the, the Lover's Card, and the, everything is good in this reading. But your person, you see them as having some trust issues about about you that's what the ten of swords is so maybe they just maybe you said something as the empress and and they feel like oh it just knocked them out you know so they they went away and they're they're clearing their head so you could have just said something yeah said something that just messed them up so now they're out to clear their head get rid of some baggage and then it turns around for the better because the Six of Pentacles is there. So I don't know what you said, Leo, but they see you as beautiful, attractive. They're drawn to you. But something happened and they got some trust issues now. Maybe too much attention is on you as the Empress because that's what the Empress is. It's a very potent time for people being drawn to you. So, so... So...